Hey, another trip report, another weird sounding chemical. This video is purely for harm reduction and does not promote the use of drugs. Your body converts psilocybin and magic mushrooms into something called psilocin, also known as 4-HODMT, which is what makes you trip. As you can see, they're pretty similar, and 4-HODMT, also known as medicine, is essentially mushrooms with more visuals, but less of a headspace. Though take it at 30 mg and throw in some weed and nitrous like I did, and you're still going to be taken for a ride and a half. I mean, straight away, I could see the wave coming. Within 10 minutes, I was getting visuals and the trip came up very hard and very fast. About 40 minutes in, I was meditating, still coming up and in a totally different reality when this being comes out of the sky, grabs my metaphysical hand, and then I just get launched through this fractal tunnel for what feels like ages until we get into this weird upside down dimension. It literally looked like these entities had taken opposite Day way too seriously because everything was inverted. Even the place itself felt underground. I saw these upside down crosses everywhere which was kind of unnerving but they seemed nice and just kind of showed me around for a bit before bringing me back and telling me there was a lot more to come. I started contemplating the best way to live my life that would cause the least amount of suffering to others and I was shown that regardless of what I do I will cause lots of suffering just by existing. Ironically I'll cause even more suffering by not existing and it felt like it was trying to get me to accept that there's really nothing I can do other than just live my life and trust it. Once I accepted that, it showed me how essentially most suffering is just a result of ignorance and it's not the person's fault that they're ignorant. People were really just born into a body as blank slates and they grow up in a society acting only based on what they know. That morning whilst making breakfast, I was watching some random Joe Rogan video about China and of course this came up during my trip. I had these visions of Trump and Winnie the Pooh over here and it showed me how much suffering they cause but ultimately they're just as much of a victim as the people they hurt. Now, I'm not saying I support them, don't spin this off and get me cancelled. My trip just very clearly showed me that they're playing an important role in humanity and to truly awaken, I can't be so hung up on the suffering they cause and I should ideally love them. Of course, in that moment, it wasn't very easy because I was having visions of China becoming the world dominant superpower, investing in their military and then taking over and putting everyone into labor camps, including myself and all the people I love but it is what it is. I'm definitely not saying this will happen, it's just what I saw and I feel like it was my subconscious testing how much I could love. I was basically looking for the places in my psyche where my love is limited so that I could shatter them and expand myself. At the time I compared it to about 200 maybe 250 mics of acid which I was honestly not expecting from the psychedelic at all. I did nitrous and became an infinite fractal of bliss forever, then I spent some time meditating and staring into the mirror then I took nitrous again but the second time was like five times weirder and more intense than the first and the first was already pretty intense. So it started with my awareness just expanding outwards for what felt like forever until I was in this realm where everything was me. You don't have to agree with me on the metaphysics here, I'm just going to describe what I experienced but there was this one being and it was everything. Like the most intensely powerful entity you could ever imagine and then still way more powerful powerful than that. I merged into this entity and I could feel everything that it could feel. As the entity, I decided to split myself into a separate perspective because I wanted to play. The game was that I would do anything I wanted to myself and I was given a body and my goal was to not react. This sounds kind of weird but I was living through both perspectives at the same time. Though once the game started I became much more limited into the body I was put into and I couldn't experience as much as this entity as I could before otherwise I'd be cheating. Straight away reality started warping through dimensions I can't even come close to describing here and it was hard to stay still but I was not bugged until eventually it told me that I win and that it couldn't budge me. So I let go and naturally just started celebrating, yes this is awesome, I win, but literally the very second I did I realized that I had actually just lost the game and it was actually a trick. 
It had been pretending to give up when it hadn't, and that was one of its ways of getting me to react. When I realized this, both of us just started laughing like crazy, and I fell back into my body, just completely mindfucked. Really interestingly, there was this kind of subconscious communication between me and the entity, where it was telling me like, good game, you know, next time maybe you'll win, and implying that I was gonna see it again. Even more interestingly, when I was there, it felt like I had been there infinite times before and I had just forgotten every time, and only when I was there did I have access to those memories. I spent the rest of the trip just vaping weed and seeing how much intensity I could handle. I took nitrous again and it made the trip before feel like a microdose, but that comes with a side effect of not having any memory of what happened. Did you like the trip report? If you want more of these then let me know down below and you should totally subscribe if you're new. This channel is plant spirits approved see you next week